first time at the city, about 40 minute car ride, you did really good. So now, this is home base. Remember at the house I said the kennel's home base? This is your kennel. Now this is your portable home base. So the way I want you to think of it is, if we have a problem here, before we even leave home base, we don't leave home base. We stay there. But look, now the mind's good because we've worked on it good. So now we leave home base. As soon as we leave home base, we take a few steps, the mind alters into not a good place, it's right back to home base. Who knows how far we'll make it? This is our first time in the city. And then it's calm and relaxed back to the mind and then come back out, okay? So let's see how it goes. And listen, to let yourself off the hook, don't feel so much pressure. Listen, you say, hey, we're gonna do this for a little while and as far as we make it, we make it and that's that. Eventually, we make the whole journey without issues. Okay? This is just the beginning of the exercise, okay? To, to be able to keep that calm mind long enough that it only uh, messes up when he sees a trigger rather than just constantly being in the inappropriate state of mind. That's how bad he is. So we have to break it down like this, like you're out of <laughs> your, your, your uh, you know, home base here and you're messing up, now you're back in. Until we can get him to carry that outside here without a trigger and then we start presenting triggers. You see, you gotta break it down. Otherwise, you're just taking a dog who's already not at a uh, calm state of mind adding triggers and they were never calm to begin with so you can't have the talk about the mind shift. You can only talk about behaviors, actions. So you see we did a lot of work just having it fill out in the, the trunk here. Right. Let's go. As soon as you get out, remember it's 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 follow always unless I say B R E A K, which I did not say. I said let's go. So if he starts to go do his own thing, that's breaking the rule. There's a correction. I'm not going to put him right back in the car because his mind's good. If his mind starts slipping, I'm going to correct. If it continues to slip, it's back to the car. Settle him down and back out. This gets the message across to him. All you can handle right now is just start walk from there to this pretty potty and back in. You know what I mean? <laughs> we perfect that. And then we move on from there. See, he wants the whole world. And you don't get it. Not unless you're like this. Pass it and fall. gets the leash. So, so he starts to put tension on the leash with the little tap on the collar. And him understanding the system as the days go on here, he'll, the whining goes away because he understands what's available and that everything else isn't. Okay? Now, he usually transitions from doing that to then whining, so it's direction after that. Pause. That's good. It's progress with this guy. Let's go. That wasn't let's go, was it? No, it wasn't. Now I'm purposely not leaving this area because I'm going to trigger him into what? He's going to do his own thing. And then, boom, that look is, I don't know what to do, so then there's no need for freedom. Let's go. Let's go. He's not perfect right now, he's slightly pushy, but boy is it better. And this is the way I like to approach it so that he comes to his own conclusion. Here. Nice work, he's gonna head back to the car. The mind's staying with me to a degree. Now listen, back at the car, he can't just go, now I'm getting in the car, so I'm gonna worry about getting in the car. 
We talked about that yesterday. Okay, nice. He, I think he enjoyed himself there. Got a couple corrections for going out and doing his own thing. He's super vocal, so it doesn't matter if you hit him at something light or something high, he's gonna make the same noise. But the, if you can just ignore that, the point is he, he went and broke a rule and he got a correction, which means he's less likely to break the rule directly after that, or, or again. But he needs a lot of those breaking of rules so that he learns what happened so that he just stops doing it. So I'm letting him break rules. I'm not keeping him right here at this point. Just play. Look what we got there. The mind was much better. Uh, we're gonna keep doing this. This guy, once he learns the way to do it, I really think that it's gonna make a big difference on him because he's not, he's not overly bratty. He's pretty cooperative, but his mind, he gets so crazy, he just can't, it's just no space for him to be in. Only bad things come from that. Okay. That was nice. Let's go to another place. That was beautiful. My boy. We have to learn a lot of stuff, Axe does. He has to learn um, how to have the store closed, you know, things like that. This is the type of stuff he's learning. Because you see, when it closes, it's going to touch his paws, so he's got to move. <laughs> so, let's let the cars go by. Let's just relax. I like to put time in between putting them in there and taking them out, so he doesn't expect... We're just going to get right out. It's like, well, no, maybe we're going to be here for 10 minutes every time. And he just starts... His association changes. That's what we're doing here. It's good. What does the walk mean? Well, the walk's going to mean follow me, and every now and then I'm going to let you go and sniff some stuff and then follow me. And don't interact with anything. Right? Because the walk isn't playtime. That's the thing. It's nice. It's enjoyable. Walks are nice. But it's not like the amusement park. Let's go have a great time. That's for, that's a whole different thing you can have when you're playing in a field, doing the ball thing that you guys do. Totally fine. Not during the walk. You can't have that mind during the walk. Dog. Oh good, here's a dog. I'm gonna be safe and grab my leash just in case we have a problem. But um, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Just let him pass. This is what's great about a car, use it. It's like a kennel kind of. You know? I got a tie back on, it's pretty safe. He still gets the trigger. He sees it, we're good. I'm not gonna start tapping on him as soon as he sees it. I wait for him to make one of the critical errors, right? Obviously lunging and all that stuff. But if he gets too hyper-focused or anything like that, or if he, he starts whining or brings his energy up. Look at that. That's beautiful. I, I'll reward that all day long. A lot of people see her do something, and they, that's what it is. They don't want to, you know. And then you got your Julius County Academy shirt on. They're like, we ain't going in front of that. <laughs> but that was a great response. Okay? So let's go find some more action. this and I'm not just gonna release him right now we're gonna wait a second because what happens if you wait 30 seconds to a minute you get to see how the dog's doing if they whine nope that's not a good sign if they don't whine that's a very good sign and not whining gets that and you see how when I tap him he gives that look you want that baby that's what you want right there that look You see, we couldn't. Uh, we have the ad association to the car now. Imagine if we didn't work on the association of the car. His, his mind would already be messed up by the time we even got here. Right? Right there's a correction. Shh. Energy. Shh. It ain't hot out, guys. It ain't hot. And he wasn't panting before, and then he started panting. That's not coincidence. That's his mind starting to race. Right? We're just pointing it out for you. Sometimes you don't even have to go anywhere. You can just be like, yep, that's it, and then go drive somewhere else. I'm serious because the damage done, the damage is done with his beliefs. Like every car ride, every leash means extravaganza. That's the damage. That's what. That's why he struggles because he's just not chill. 
You need to be chill. Don't worry. And he's worried about fun things. You know, this is Christmas morning anxiety. Yeah, all, you know, all day long, every day. Can't sleep. I get all the presents. <laughs> Anxious. That's what he's doing. Remember, let's go is not. That's good. Let's go. Good job, bud. See, I had to make it clear. See his energy goes up as soon as he gets out. It's much improved, but it, it's went up a couple notches. So now we don't move from here. And if we have real big problems, there's a correction that's back in there. Okay. Every step of the way, we got to work on that line. Remember, believe how powerful it is just to say don't go anywhere right now. And I'm not. Again, if you're watching, I'm not choking up the leash. He, he has wiggle room to move around, see? And then boom, and then correction. So it allows him to make the... That's, it's hotter if you keep making the same mistake. Nobody said you're free. That's what I told you guys. You're always following unless told to be free for a period of time, rather than always free unless told to do something for a period of time. You're always under the influence of a human, and you can't just walk away from them unless they've told you you can walk away. That's how it works. And that's why it works. Okay, I didn't have to explain anything there because I've already explained this to him. I just apply. And what happened after the traction came? Right back here and sat down. Right? And now you know what? Now it's back in there. That's a rule broken, right? And I want to make sure he can do this always without fuss. Wait. See what I mean? All the noises. We're more concerned about the mind than anything else. Shh. He's trying to relax himself. Shh. Can you see how bad the issues is? Oh, the, the issues are. Um, I hope I'm pointing them out clear enough. I know it looks like nothing. But the professionals watching now, they know. We're just bring, we're just pointing out small little things to show you. These are the problems. It's the mind that's the problem, and the respect, and the the, the not accepting to be, to follow that's the problem. Not the ones embarking and all that. That that comes because he's not following. Once we get this done, <laughs> you don't see the other stuff. You just don't see that because you're not. You're you're focused on such small core fundamentals that if he doesn't break those he can't make the mistake he needs to elevate an energy and then decide to not fall even in order to go after a dog right and he's not allowed to elevate an energy or leave our our leadership unless ever leave our leadership but he's not allowed to even explore unless he was told he can okay well, this is a tough spell. pill for dogs to swallow in the beginning okay but once they get it they get it you see he feels healthier, less anxious in here, because in here he now knows that there's no other options besides being in here. So we did the work there, that's good. As soon as we step to the outside world, options, you know, the, the, the fun things that I always do, that's where the mind is. It's, it's not in follow. It's in wondering what I could do out here, right? Mm. Okay. Let's go. I give him a place to go, because he's cool. He can take that pointy finger and go anywhere you tell him. 
I guess I don't have the length of leash. Let him do his business. But don't let him pull you around and don't let him start whining and don't let him start elevating an energy like we're getting ready to go do something great. No, 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 we're chilling. This is like a three o'clock in the morning key. So let's, let's be chill about it. It's just going to be hot air coming out of his mouth. Actually, most of the time, it's just hot air coming out of his mouth. Whatever. So I'm not really super concerned about a really tight heel right now, but we will get a really tight heel. We already have one started, but I'm not applying it right now because I want him to make the mistake of, I'm saying let's go instead of heel because it's a looser thing and it's more tempting for him to go and make a mistake. So I can just get the mistakes gone um, and then we'll come start asking. But this type of work is what's going to get that old head feeling better, and it's already working. And we just started this. This is his first time doing it. That's my boy, and that's it for this little. Literally, when you're bringing when you're bringing him out like this, that's it. Just go to place to place, and if he struggles real hard, you know, uh, you need to back off the intensity of where you are, right? You went too far. You skipped something. The car wasn't solid or something. Better. Kennel at home. Living room behavior, you know, the potty behavior, and then the car behavior. Oh, I'm sorry, walks around the blocks can happen. Your block, something local, master that, and then the car as well. And then this is the exercise you do when once you're ready to take him out of the car somewhere new. And then eventually, even while he's here, you'll see we're not going to have to do this, right? But you might have to do this. Take it back. You, you know, I encourage to take it back like this, just to rewire what he thinks a walk looks like with you and grow it from there. Okay, very good, my man. I'm gonna do a little bit more because we're here. We're out in the city. Um, as many experiences as possible, and as the days go on, he'll know the drill, okay? Genius idea of parking outside the dog park. I think it's a fantastic idea because he's done pretty well with everything else. We're gonna open up that trunk and he's gonna see dogs. And so we're not gonna let him out of the trunk. We're gonna deal with the mind while he's in, in, in the car. And then that's all I wanna accomplish is that calmness around these stranger dogs like this. If he does, you know, we'll see if we get out or not. Even if we don't get out, we make progress because it's he sees the dogs and he goes calm. Everything's about seeing his mind start to go into that space where he used to, correct and bring him back to calm. Eventually, guess what? Calm is the association and he gets it and he gets it right when he sees dogs. Okay. Now hey, how you doing? Happy you too. Oh, yeah. You don't see that every day. He has a stick too. You see that? <laughs> Said shush, calm him down a little bit, and then open the trunk again. Because this is perfect. Because a couple dogs are walking behind the camera. As soon as I open that up, he's seen them. My boy. Some humping going on over there. Yeah. Yeah, that causes fights.
gears a little bit. We're gonna give him some freedom in the environment. This is just so that if he makes bad choices, I can start correcting them. The chances of him doing the bad behavior are really low if I have him in follow mode, like actually going and making a mistake of going up on a dog. So I'm gonna give him a little bit more freedom. See where his mind is. That's what it's all about. dog and wheels. <laughs> you want me to go shut the trunk? Yeah. 